Oh, <laughs> hey. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Juan, and today we are going to be reviewing Birdman. It stars Michael Keaton, Emma Stone, Edward Norton. Jesus Christ, it's such a huge cast. Edward Norton, uh, Zach Galifianakis. Who else? There's just so many people. I can't even... Th Naomi Watts littered with brilliant actors that make some of the greatest performances of all time. I'm quite serious. This is Michael Keaton's comeback performance, Emma Stone's peak of her career, Edward Norton's, like, one of his best things since whatever other movies he's done, you know, no one cares. This is Zach Galifianakis, guys. He's freaking amazing. A bunch of other actors just brilliant in this film that really brought the whole thing to life. The directing by Alexander Inarritu is probably one of the best directors out there. He's done some okay movies in the past, but this is, oh my god. Oh my god. It is like one shot. Like what I'm doing, I'm not even doing one shot. That's how lazy I am. This guy made it look like it was all shot in one shot. Like one take, you know, like they're moving, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there are points where that is not the case and there are cuts, but you can't see them. It's kind of really well disguised. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a brilliantly made film, technology-wise and directing-wise. The script is Jesus. It is Buddha. It is Gandhi and it is Genghis Khan, okay? It is just amazing. It has some brilliant monologues in there. There's some great, it's, it has so much commentary on some themes that are really present in today. Like there's this one section about film critics, there's this one section about like Hollywood versus theater, there's a section about Hollywood versus indie films, there's a section about love, drugs, drinking, like everything. Everything is going on here and it is some of the craziest writing that I've ever seen. One of the most interesting aspects of the film for me was probably the soundtrack. The soundtrack consisted only of drumming, which I thought actually added a lot to it. It is all percussion. The reason I think it added a lot because having a, like a steady cam, just one shot, really feels improvised. It feels everything is improvised, it feels very realistic, and just the drumming, the percussion felt really improvised as well, which added a lot to the film. And going back to the cinematography of it, the way it was shot, it's a film about Broadway. And the way theater feels is really improvised and in the moment because it's all just one scene, or not one scene, but there are many scenes, but they're like, it's on stage live. And so this felt live. It felt in the moment and it felt spectacular. And so I think it really captured the spirit of Broadway and how theater works. Overall, I thought this film was brilliant. I think Michael Keaton will be nominated for an Oscar, but I actually really hate the Oscars. They're rigged and they're stupid. I still watch them though because it's it's fun. I think this film is one of the best films I've seen in a long, long time. It's probably my top 25, 30 films. It's just brilliant. You should all watch it. It has so many things that everyone can relate to, especially you darn teenagers taking all your loves, which is a drug. Love is a drug. And you're taking that drug. I'm gonna give it an A+, because it is just a film that everyone should see, and some amazing stuff goes on in there. So, you know, watch it.